Did you know a baseball gave us jazz? No, I'm serious. Look it up. In 1912, a minor league pitcher had a pitch he called the jazz curve. Years later, jazz became the name for the style of music. But the music didn't stop there. Because we played play. Satchel Paige, Jackie Robinson, Buck O'Neill, they wanted to play. And they did play. My Grammy Pat, she played to play. Back in the Bahamas on the sand lots, I played to play. And you better believe that we still play to play. So yeah, like I said, baseball gave us jazz. Ever getting caught, change course, had to bang doors. Now them same doors got a man to wait for us. Can't shake still, cause the man is ain't lost. on floss when I keep cause I plan to stay raw. Had to take deals that ain't have a race seal, just to have a play field. Now I'd rather take off. Remember when it feels like you gotta stay still if the line ain't crossed.
joke. I used to let the mic smoke. Now I slam it when I'm done and make sure it's broke. When I'm gone, no one gets on. Cause I won't let nobody press up and mess up the scene I set. I like to stand in a crowd and watch the people wonder. But think about it, then you understand. I'm just a to music. Maybe it's a habit. I gotta use it. Even if it's jazz or the quiet storm. I hook a beat up, convert it into hip hop form. Write a rhyme and graffiti in every show you see me in. Deep concentration, cause I'm no comedian. Jokers are wild if you wanna be tame. I treat you like a child, then you're gonna be named. Another enemy, not even a friend of me. Cause you'll get fried in the end when you pretend to be competing. Cause I just put your mind on pause and I complete when you compare my rhyme with yours. I wake you up and ask a stare in your face. You seem stunned, remember me? The one you got your idea from. But soon you start to suffer. The tuna get rougher. When you start to stutter, that's when you had enough of. Nothing it'll make you choke. You can't provoke. You can't cope. You should have broke because I ain't no joke. joke. Baltimore, welcome inside Oriole Park at Camden Yards. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Shane McClanahan. What do we have on him? Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity. And out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way. Because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. And here it comes. Cedric ah. Mullins stands in now and watches strike one. The O2. And that one hammered Siri, ranging back, back some more. And he brings it in on the warning track. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. They're dealing with a top level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit. And then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Next offering is in for a strike. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Next offering is foul back. No score just getting started top of the first. That to right. Margot settles under it. Hauls it in for the out. Batting third. The third baseman, number two. Gunner Henderson, Gunner the next to hit for the Henderson. Orioles. And he hits a ground ball right side. Third out. out. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. And now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back 
here at the ballpark. And our starting pitcher here today, Kyle Gibson. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys. the ground right side Frazier picks it up gathers and throws to first one gone bottom half of the first now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays the challenge for him today Siggy elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boo. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring oh, position, no. and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. The 0-1. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. All right, Tampa. The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. On the ground, into the outfield, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Really nice job staying up the middle of his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Now it's Randy and Rosarena. In there for strike one. Gibson, a former All Star. He features a sinker, a cutter. A slider, a four seamer, and he works in a changeup. Kicks and deals. And no, it's even up. Outside. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Franco stands at first with one out. Swing and a miss. One and two. Swings through it for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low the 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. We found a way to just get it by him. Lau at the plate. He swings and fouls one off. pitch stays alive here's the 0-2 got him swinging couldn't hit the fastball at the knees one left for Tampa we played an inning no score
and welcome back. And now the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander. McClanahan back to work. That's a strike. McClanahan, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a curve, and he works in a slider. Now the 0-1. Bounce to third. Whips it to first. And quickly one away in the second. That is it. The first baseman, number six. Ryan Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Mountcastle. Singing Ryan Mountcastle, a former first-round pick by the Orioles in 2015. Here's the thing that gets me, though. He owns his own karaoke machine. And can I tell you, I've never done karaoke in my life. You got to try it sometime. Singy, what's your go-to karaoke song? Yeah, probably some song that'll cost us too much to mention in this broadcast. The Ramon Urias, Ramon the next to hit for the Urias. Orioles. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. High in the air, out to right. Margot makes the catch, and that'll do it. Orioles held in check there. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back now at Oriole Park. They head to the bottom of the second. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Harold Ramirez. The right-hander back to work. Yeah, there's the strike. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Righty delivers. That one ball, off the mark. High. One ball, one strike. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. One, two. And the righty deals. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Batting foot. Here's Manuel Margot. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Second inning here, no score. Next.
next pitch has popped up. Henderson drifts towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Isaac Paredes now. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe no. step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Next no. offering misses. Two balls, no Two strikes to count. Swings through that. Good Ooh, late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swings and misses. It's two and two. Next offering is foul back. Comes a 2-2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. On the ground to third. Henderson handles. Zips it across. And that is that. Ray's held in check here. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. And now it's Leading Austin Hayes. The left fielder, Austin Hayes, Hayes. hitting seventh in today's lineup. And he was a third round pick back in 2016. And it goes just foul. And that one is lifted in the air. Margot settles under it. And out number one on the grab. Here's Adam Frazier. The second base. Adam. Frazier in his seventh season. 30. One years old, he joined the team as a free agent. 
Line drive to short and caught. Batting up. The shortstop. Jorge. Jorge Mateo now. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. Mateo measures six feet even, 180 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And first offering is fouled off. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Hard hit, left field, base hit. And that extends the inning for Cedric Mullins. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Back to the top of the lineup, and now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Into center. Siri makes the catch, and that'll do it. And the Orioles leave one, and we are still scoreless. Back here in Baltimore, set for the bottom of the third, now up for Tampa Bay, Christian Bethencourt. Hawaii to kick the pitch. There's a strike. And he grounds one to the right side. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Batting none. The center fielder. And now it's Jose Siri. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Right side, Santander drifts towards it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. The first baseman, number two, Yandy. Yandy Diaz now. Diaz. He's over one. That one's in there, 0 1. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. And the 0-2. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down in order go the Rays. And we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back. Start of the fourth. Here's Adley Rutschman. Catcher, number 35. Adley. Adley Rutschman singing Rutschman. first overall pick out of Oregon State. What a college career he had. He helped the Beavers win the 2018 College World Series, and he was named the most outstanding player of the tournament. Yeah, I found it interesting that in his rookie season, many baseball experts said that he was the best catcher the in the big leagues at the time. No, well, that was a Gunner pitch you got to crush. Henderson. Unbelievable that he missed it right there, and I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Here's the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson, grounded out his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Paredes makes the catch. Out number two. Up next for the Orioles, 
the right fielder. Anthony Anthony Santander, Santander. at the plate. Over one so far. In the air, right field, pretty well struck, and it slams off the bottom of the wall. Two outs, runner at first. Ryan Mountcastle digs in now. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Coming home. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. Santander trying to wiggle out of a rundown now. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. One left for the Orioles. Still no score. Now at Oriole Park, bottom of the fourth. Now it's going to be Wander Franco. Gibson back to work. Left field. Hayes ranging after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays. In there for strike one. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Now he breaks his bat, and that's just foul. The wind of the pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball oh, right now. And now it's Brandon Lau. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. That's Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters... Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Oh, and two now. And that Ball. just oh. misses. It's a good take. And the pitch goes down looking. Rays go in order. One, two, three through four. Still tied. Zip, zip. Back here at the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH. Ramon Urias. The pitch. Well struck left field. That's back there. And that one is gone. A shot to left. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. With this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. And first offering is fouled off. Oh, he just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Oh, one down. Out to short. Franco gloves it. And that's the first it, out. Nice out. recovery after giving up the homer. Now batting. Second baseman, Adam 
And into the box for Baltimore. Adam Frazier. He's 0 for 1. Right side. Lau collects. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Looked to me like he got on the side of the ball a little too much right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And when you don't stay on top of the ball and really get out front and finish with a good release point, it's very easy to lose control of it to either side. Runner on at first with one gone. Jorge Mateo, the next to hit for the Orioles. In there, and it's 0-1. This one in the air center field. Siri in position. He's got it. And there's two down. Now batting the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. So the lineup flips over. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. That one's in there, 0 1. No ball, one strike. Left hand hitter waits. Line drive, base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. First and second, two outs. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh, wow. oh the pitch. And a base hit on the line. Runner around third, and it's off the wall. One runs in. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Oh, here we are. Third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So two down. Gunnar Henderson will hit next. In there for strike one. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Mullins on third. Rutschman on at second with two down. Next offering is fouled back. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. At the belt and fires. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Siri in position. Makes the grab and that's the inning. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Orioles two. The Rays nothing. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Ground ball right side. On to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Manuel Margot up to the plate. First time up was a pop out. And that chance handled to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now batter. The third baseman. He's tough. And stepping in for the Rays, Isaac Paredes. 
Grounded out his first time. And that one fouled off. The 0 1. This one in the air right field. Santan Dare drifts towards it. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for Tampa. They trail things here 2 0. Top of the sixth inning. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander. And a pitch. Hit hard. That gets through. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. One for two. Hard right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. He was all yeah, that, over that one. That just a cookie hit. down the middle. Ramon I mean, those are the ones you dream Rio. about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Shane McClanahan will depart, and it wasn't his best start. But he kept them in it to this point, and will come back with a new arm. Righty reliever out of the pen, Ryan Thompson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And here is Ramon Urias. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Swing and a base hit. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. That's three singles in a row. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. And next for the Orioles, Austin Hayes. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Thompson, in his fourth year, he features a sinker, a slider, and he works in a four-seamer. Santander, the runner at third. Mountcastle at second. Urias on at first with nobody out. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Siri going back on it. Gone! Big time blast. A grand slam. A big blow to the home fans. And they add on. It's 6 nothing. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Swing and a ball popped up. Lau makes the play, and there's one down. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball.
bullpen movement for the Rays. Garrett Clevenger, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Beeks getting cranked up as well. The 1-0. Swung on, belted. Margot moving back. Still going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. And first offering is fouled off. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Up next for the Orioles. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now the catcher comes up to him. Adley Rutschman, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. To the right side, Lau over to pick it up. The throw to first. Rutschman retired. That's out number three. Big damage for Baltimore on this Grand Slam. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. Back after this on the show. Bottom of the six. Here's the speedy catcher, Christian Bethencourt. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Strike one. One strike. That one fouled off. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Struck him out looking. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling now you what, back. pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. Fly to right his first time. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The 0 1. And strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The wind and the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Pitch has popped up. Frazier makes the grab. Two down. The first baseman, number two, Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz next to him for the Rays. Diaz measures six feet, two inches, 31 years old, and he was born in Cuba. In there, and it's on one. Outside of the United States, Cuba has more players and representatives in Cooperstown than any other country. Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are close behind. Bounce to the right. Whips it to Mountcastle. Rays retired in order. 
Rays held in check here. Still up against a six nothing deficit. Back here in Baltimore new inning getting started now the third baseman Gunnar Henderson. And here it comes. Swing and a ball lifted left field and it drops in. So a man on base to start the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. Hit hard, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. The a couple of hits base, in a row for six. him here. When you can turn Ryan. a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. You're a he elevates three. that a little bit more. It's now definitely out of here. And the Rays, they go to the bullpen. Garrett Clevenger, he has a great slider with tons of movement. And now Ryan Mountcastle. That's ripped. Base hit. They won't test it here. Base is loaded, no outs. Now that designated hitter. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. He's already homered in this game. That one hit to right. Margo settles under it and makes the catch. One away. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. Or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Swing and a high fly ball to left. The Rosarena moving under it. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Adam Frazier, the next to hit for the Orioles. If they don't pick up at least oh. one run here, this will be a very disappointing inning. When you load the bases with nobody out, you've got to get at least one run. You're thinking two to three, so they need a big hit right here. Swing and a miss. One ball. That's one strike three. one. No doubt swinging for a four-run homer right there. Henderson at third. Santander on second. Mountcastle on at first with two down. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Orioles leave them loaded. They lead it though. 6 stretch. Back now at Oriole Park. Bottom of the seven. Here's the shortstop at the play. Wander Franco. Gibson back to work on the ground to short Mateo picks it up and oh no it's out of play just a terrible throw there well it's been a struggle on offense for them in this one so maybe that wakes him up a little bit you know an error can certainly give the opposing lineup something to get excited about you got somebody on base so we'll see if they can make something of it pretty amazing his first pitch strike percentage over 90 percent you know you're getting something in the zone first pitch so if you're a hitter you gotta be ready to let it fly even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at bat
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. That cutter right there had just enough no movement on Number it to eight. get the swing and miss. Second it wasn't a great man. location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle, so I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. At the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. 0 oh, and 2 as he waves at that one. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him, man. You know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact, but that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Next pitch has popped up. Mateo makes the catch, and that'll do it. The Rays strand just the one. They still find themselves down, 6-zip. We're at the top of the eighth, and now the shortstop, Jorge Mateo. The shortstop, Jorge Mateo. And a pitch. Fought off foul. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. Looking for the K. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you usually see very well, but for the some reason he didn't pick it up, and it just kind of got into the strike zone late, gave up on it a little bit early. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. That one is absolutely belted. Siri going back on it. And that one's gone into the bleachers. Cedric Mullins sends it out. And they boost their lead. It's 7-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. One out, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Adley Rutschman. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Breaking ball in there for a strike. That slider breaking in can be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that bite at the end and it stays out over the plate, it can get hit a long way. But that was a good one right there. In the air, out towards left center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two down. 
That's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. The third not allowing it to two. stay in the head, Gunner. but going to work at the next Henderson. hitter, and a tough one at that. And now, Gunnar Henderson. Line drive. Can't get there. Base hit. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. I'll right tell you, man, it's Anthony such a good feeling when you Sean smoke Tom a line there. drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Anthony Santander getting ready to hit. First oh offering misses the mark. Here comes a pitch. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And now the lefty hard hit left side and it's through for a hit throw in holds the lead runner at second two on now with two away six. well that'll make you feel Ryan. good as a hitter right there Mount you see a ball come off the bat like that you know it was pretty much a perfect swing and for me you know I start wondering and I'm looking on the computer what was the exit velocity this time 106 yeah the batter now Ryan Mountcastle bounced up the middle over to Diaz, out number three. Solo Homer brings in one for Baltimore. It's now 7-0. And welcome back on the bottom of the eighth. Now up for Tampa Bay, Manuel Marco. The pitch. Marco. That's a strike across the top of the zone. And there's one away. Now batting. Third so eight. next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Isaac Paredes. And that's in there for strike one. Righty to the plate. Strike two. That he is just dialed in no right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Hard hit to third. Has some trouble with it. Henderson over to first in time. Barely got him for the out close play. Oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. And yeah, now the catcher for the Rays, Christian Bethencourt. Next pitch has popped up. Mountcastle makes the catch, and that'll do it. Down in order go the Rays. Not going their way. It's 7 0. Back here at the ballpark, and now the DH, Ramon Urias. Ramon 
Clevenger, the lefty who lights up the radar gun. 28 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Oh, this has been a really nice now game at the plate for him. He field. looks locked in. Off Pretty field. tough for the infielders Ooh. to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. Drilled the left center way back there, and that is gone. An absolutely majestic shot. His second home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's 9 0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Now on the mound for the Rays, Jalen Beeks. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 68, Jalen Beeks. Now it's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. And a base hit. The batter, number three, shortstop, Jorge. So next Mateo. to hit for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. No, off the plate. First pitch, just misses. Frazier on at first. Nobody out. Next pitch is inside. Ball two. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Sean Armstrong warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Two zero. -oh. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Diaz pulls it down, one down. Up next for the Orioles, the center fielder. Cedric. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup, Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival to take your game to another level. Okay. That one's in there, 0 on one Next offering is foul back. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string of the changeup. And now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. The switch hitter batting right. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And now the one. Foul ball there. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run. So bottom of the ninth, and here's a speed off. threat. Jose Siri. The better fielder. Siri. And the right hater back to work. And a strike.
Now the Orioles manager is out of the dugout and he'll make a move to the pen. That'll be it for Kyle Gibson and he was excellent. Really controlled this game on the mound and we'll have a new arm for you in a minute. Coming on for the Orioles, Felix Bautista. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Strike two. Right-handed reliever. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Hayes ranging after it. Got it. Nice grab. And there's one down. Nancy Fest. It's so fun to watch. Yandy. Diaz. Yandy Diaz. The next to hit. And a foul ball. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings through it. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. And down on strikes. Down to the last out for the Rays. First strikeout for him in this one. And that splitter is maybe the go-to pitch when he's looking for a swing and miss like that. He throws it quite a bit, and that's a good example of the effect it can have on a hitter. Here's Wander Franco. Strike one. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Orioles slug their way to a win in this one. Well, when you win by nine runs, you have plenty of insurance runs. It's a huge confidence boost when you can just put that many runs up on the board. And I'll tell you what, the next game starter is saying, hey, I hope you guys save some runs for me. I want to get a win as well. Nine nothing, your final in this one. As the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. Feel like I need it. It's the season I should let go And that's the reason I'm about my But it's the season I should fly So loud I'm so Then she's so this way